You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The US House of Representatives overwhelmingly backed the legislation on Thursday, 28th of April, that will make it easier to export military equipment to Ukraine, reviving the Lend-Lease Act that helped defeat Hitler during World War II. The yeas are 417 and the nays are... The House passed the Ukraine Democracy Defend Lend-Lease Act of 2022 by 417 to 10, three weeks after it sailed through the Senate with unanimous support. It next goes to the White House for President Joe Biden to sign into law. The measure revive a World War II era program that allowed Washington to lend or lease military equipment to U.S. allies. In this case, it will help those affected by Russian invasion, such as Poland and other Eastern European countries, as well as Ukraine. Two months into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, members of Congress hoped the act would work as it did eight decades ago by allowing U.S. companies to quickly resupply partner nation without having to clear bureaucratic hurdle. As war range in Ukraine, every minute matter. It's about time. This strong action can mean the difference between life safe and life lost. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said ahead of the vote. Among other provisions, the bill would allow the United States to provide equipment to Ukraine now, with just a technical requirement to pay at some later date, essentially giving it to the Kyiv government.